Hi, this is David from Cash and Icon. Welcome to the channel. If you don't know, we talk about food, business, and everything Cash and Icon related as well. In this particular video, I'm going to be telling you five ways of creating raving fans for your food business. So, firstly, number one is that you're serving good food. So, it's, whether it's tasty and delicious, is a must. And whether it's locally sourced ingredients or just high quality ingredients or just depending on what you're making, all of that will make a massive difference between whether customers come to you or someone else. So just make sure your, your food is bang on, it's delicious, it looks great as well, and customers will be first and foremost raving about your food because they like your food. So whether the recipes are homemade is also a good way of being able to separate yourself from other people as well because you're actually telling a story and you're getting recipes from your mom, parents and grandparents that you're hopefully being able to share. So the second point is that you're offering good customer service so whether it's just socializing with the customer, getting to know them, their dietary requirements or just their little requests is that they often ask and then you just sort of remember and then you sort of just bring out just to make sure you sort of pay attention to them. All of that makes a massive difference and it shows that you're offering good customer service, particularly if you're offering a service where you're really quick during lunchtime, that is another sign of you adding to that customer service because you're providing food that is super quick and customers can be in and out in a matter of minutes as well. So pay attention to customer service because not a lot of places will and a lot of places have forgotten customer service but customers are at the heart of the business so just pay attention to the finer details and you'll be creating those raving fans. So the third point is that you should smile and be friendly. It's just so easy to get bo so bogged down into everyday life and particularly work or personal and it's the same for customers. They might have those troubles and they come here particularly or your place to eat good food and feel good about themselves and to hopefully go out and be able to take the challenge those problems as well so we want to focus on just making sure smiling and being friendly just costs nothing it just adds to that customer service as well and people love buying from happy people so just pay attention to the finer details and you slowly see when they're when customers are really engaged into you and your business and the food that they offer they're more likely to come back to you because this will be the, the happy place and the happy memories that they'll come back to. So number four is you want to show passion and care for your food and service that you're offering. Particularly in terms of food, on how it looks, how it's sourced, how it tastes as well, and that overall customer experience that you want your customers to feel is just so important because this, that again, is the finer details that will make that all of the difference and customers really appreciate the finer details and particularly if you're showing your passion, you're telling your story behind the food, how it's made, and just showing customers how it's done is that the easy, that's the easiest way to be able to create that relationship between customer and food vendor and to be able to create that lasting relationship that you will be able to show for your food and how it's represented and customers will know know of you and hopefully you will tell their friends and family about you as well. So if you're passionate about your food, don't hide it, express it and if you really are not passionate about what you're doing, just don't do it because customers can see it straight through that and it's just not worth doing something you're miserable uh, doing and you should probably find something else. So number five is going that extra mile, so whether it's remembering names, orders, dietary requirements, particular likes, dislikes, and just their usual orders makes the massive difference because then customers know that they are valued and that they're important and they should feel like that because they are important, particularly to us as well because they keep coming back and it's great because we're doing something right, they like our food, they like our service, so it's only right that we at least remember their names or their orders because they come such reg on a regular basis. So. Going that extra mile, we've created a loyal customer base that we know that if anything happens, we have them to back us up because we've been doing the extra mile since we've opened and customers know that we offer something different compared to everywhere else and that's the thing that sets us apart and that's the thing that creates those raving fans because 
above doing all the four things above and going the extra mile these are the things that literally cost nothing to do and you gain so much more you're getting that long-lasting relationship that hopefully customers will really just tell their friends families and colleagues about your business and in order to create those raving fans that will keep shouting and praising your food and your business to everyone they know so pay attention to the extra mile and you'll be able to see the benefits of it as well thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you found these five ways of creating raving fans useful and that you can put them into practice as well like this video if you like this video and please 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 subscribe to the channel it would be awesome if you could show your support and just press that subscribe button just to show that we're doing something right and i can continue making videos for you as well which is pretty fun and i'm doing on my free time so it's just nice to be able to see the appreciation uh, i'm david and i'll be back next week for a new video i will see you later bye